Today I'm going to talk about plumbing. The other night at approximately 10 p.m. I got up and decided to use a tap. The only tap in my house that has water and that's cold water. Well, whatever. No hot water here, remember? Okay. Um, I switched it on. It, it was already looking like there was going to be a problem with it soon, like it needed a washer replaced or something because it was sort of making some funny noises and being a little tiny bit drippy, but I just kept using it. This tab here, uh, this one, the top actually sort of kind of exploded <laughs> and it went everywhere. There was actually like a water feature in my house at 10 o'clock at night. So I'll tell you what I had to do. So I had to walk outside to the back fence, which is not a short distance at night, and decide to switch off my water. Now, I had been a bit nervous about my water for a while because there are some rather suspicious looking areas of greenness. Um, so I was already considering turning off my water and only turning it on when I needed to use it. But I was too slack to do that. But now that's what I'm doing. The water is switched off unless I need to use it. Uh, so it's only switched on for very brief moments of time. Okay, <laughs> so Poopy's here. She's following me. Yep, she's going to say hello. Hey, good morning. Hello. Uh, that's where I look from. Uh, okay, so as I was saying, this is where I had to walk the other night <laughs> when I had my big uh, water feature up here at 10 o'clock at night. So the water is currently switched off, but to switch it on, I just have to, well, I've got no muscles. That's how to switch it on. But we're going to keep it switched off. Now, the reason why we're going to keep it switched off is because I got my water bill a couple of days after this miraculous, amazing water feature appeared in my house. And it was saying that I was using 250 litres of water a day, which I'm definitely not using 250 litres of water a day. So my original sort of idea that there was a leak was correct. So now it remains switched off one day. <laughs> I may be able to afford plumbing to get it sorted out. But at the moment, that's what it is. Um, no water unless it's switched on and it's only really to flush the toilet and that's only for certain things to flush. I mean, um, you know, no one wants to know, but number ones, no need to flush. Number twos, I don't want to leave that. Um, there as a surprise for next time I go to the bathroom and in my um, investigations about how much it actually takes to flush a toilet it was 5 to 11 litres depending on what sort of um, setup you've got so if you can imagine how many times you've flushed your toilet and how many litres of water you're using that's a lot of water a day and that 250 litres that I'm freaking out about you could get to that so quickly even showers. I never thought about any of this. Um, uh, the litres of water that I've wasted in a shower. I did find some stuff online that you can um, have a look at just to see how much water you're using. Um, it was from a Victorian government website. It was a downloadable um, thing and I only found it because um, I was curious. So now I'm aware how much water one can waste. So I'm going to show you where the apparent water leaks were happening um so there's a lot of water kind of hanging around here like it's not it's been raining a little bit but not this is not from rain this is from well i guess from water leaks um and there were some plants that were pla were flourishing very much just here the other thing to mention this is the back of my toilet is that it was non-stop running so that was another issue causing probably a waste of water there's some double G's up there see those lighter green things yeah those are the things that you don't want to step on in the middle of the night basically when I come out here my shoes 
um, a cupboard <laughs> with things that are these little things with three prongs. And when you step on them, it's quite a surprise um, and quite painful. If you don't know what double G's are, do a Google double G's, G E E S, all one word. Um, okay, so the other bit that was um, looking like there was a problem with a leak was up the back here. So this is where I showed you. Hey Fifi, hello. Okay, so yeah. See all this grass? Um, given that there's no grass in the entire backyard, um, these salt bushes will last regardless of weather, as will the double G's. Look at them. Oh, let's have a look at the double G's. Double G's. Oh geez, I should pull these out next. Um, they're really not good. Oh yeah, toilet. Now that looks like a stain that's like a poo stain, but I can guarantee it's dirt. Um, it's just come in from the back of where I showed you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's my toilet. Hello. <laughs> Those are double G's. Look at all the prongs on them. Oh, so if you can imagine just sort of stepping on that. Not good. And just before I finish this video, I want to show you this is where I wash my hands. Uh, yes, I am hygienic despite what you may believe. Um, the other thing is the tap. So this is a bit that went woo, and there was literally like a fountain like squirting up like this the other night. So this is what happened. Um, this was one of the things that disappeared, well, flew out at the same time. Um, I've tried putting it back in, but it didn't work. So what I did, I don't know what I can, you probably can't see it, but I've stuffed a piece of sticky tape in there, like I've screwed it up into a ball, and um, yeah, it seems to have solved my problem on a temporary basis at least. So it just means that I'll be able to um, wash without having water gushing out of this particular tap. Um, the washing machine is hooked up to a hose from outside. Um, you can see that in another video that I did, if you have a look at my other videos. And the only time water is on is when I want to flush the toilet or if I'm running water for the bath. This bath I've used twice so far, the, the water. Um, and the baby's like, hello. Um, and it's been fine. The second time was a bit cold, but... Um, why waste all that water? And you can waste more water having a shower than what goes into this bath, despite what you may think. Uh, if you use that little calculator that I've uh, linked in the comments below, um, or the description below. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. And Fifi's also saying thank you. Um, you gonna say thank you?